Hello and welcome to this week's Oracle Card Guidance. So um, we're heading into a new year and this is a special Oracle Card Guidance, but we are still asking the same question. What can we expect as we go ahead? And um, the question I'd like to, to focus on as we go ahead now is about how do we heal ourselves as we go ahead? How do, what is it that we need to know for ourselves and for our healing as we go ahead? as we enter the new year. You can come back to this uh, Oracle card guidance at any time. It will still be relevant to you if you've chosen to come to it at that time. But for those of you who are my regular viewers and subscribers, I welcome you to an Oracle card guidance, a weekly Oracle card guidance where I'm using the Healing with the Fairies Oracle deck that's right here. And I have uh, three options as usual. The option number one here, the option number two, and the last one, uh, the option number three over here. So go ahead, make your selection. And the question we're asking this week once again is, what do I need to know right now? But also, what is it that we need to know in terms of our healing as we go forward? All right. So go ahead, make your selection, and you can go down to the uh, to the timestamp below where you'll find your reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option one here, I've just laid out the cards here and I'm going to just make a selection. I'm just going to feel what is it that's coming up for you and where is it that we need to focus. And I feel like the card is here. Um, just let me try and get it like that. And we have the card making new friends. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, the the way in which we need to heal ourselves, what we need to look, what we can look forward to in the new year or as we go ahead in the time before us for the next few months, but also in this week, is an opportunity to make new friends. Now, I want to apologize to those of you who can hear the crickets in the background, and I hope it doesn't annoy you, uh, but this is the only chance I could, I had to be able to record this video. Um, this is... This is a time as you go ahead to be able to make new friends, to be able to allow new energy to come into your life, to be able to allow yourself to have recognition from those around you in a way that you perhaps haven't had before. So it's a time in which you can seek out others who see you, who recognize you, who resonate with you in a way that perhaps you haven't had before this. And this is the way in which you can heal as you go along. So this card is talking not about necessarily getting rid of friends or, or shutting out people who don't necessarily resonate with you in the way that you would like to go ahead, but rather to just make space in your life to be able to allow new energies to come in, to be open to the idea of new people coming into your life. Now, another way in which this energy can apply is just by allowing new energy to come into your life and not just by meeting necessarily people in the living world, but by allowing new energy to come in uh, through the spirit world. And the way in which you can engage with this is by meditating, it's by traveling, uh, astral travel, it's by working on an energetic plane and allowing and feeling what energy you'd like to have come in and also feeling what it is that you won't allow into your life and working always with resonance. You must work with resonance. I think the feeling that comes through with this card here is that the as we go along in this year, as we move ahead, it is possible for you to be able to bring in a new energy, a brand new energy, regardless of what's going on in the world around you and what's going on with people around you. There's a way in which you can actually flourish. You can give birth to yourself at this time. You can allow yourself to renew yourself in this time. The way to do that, as I said already, is by allowing yourself to bring in a new energy into your life, either with friends or on an astral plane. This card also makes me think of allowing yourself to be shown, um, of not being able to not being afraid to show yourself, not allowing others to come in the way of of who you are. And actually being able to be feel free 
to to show yourself, not being afraid of showing yourself, not being afraid of what others may think or not being afraid of losing friends by showing yourself. So I feel that it's important to actually um, to acknowledge that in the time that you go ahead, you might be making seeing old friends again and but renewing your relationships with them. So you might be meeting with old friends and um, finding that they've changed so much that they resonate with you on a different level now and that you are renewing your relationships with them. I feel also that uh, there's a spirit, there's a feeling of springtime in this card, there's a feeling of renewal or coming to life again. And it feels very much like it could be that some of you are actually reconnecting with old friends and breathing new life into uh, relationships that used to be. And, you know, this card is a card that doesn't have any judgment at all. It has a, it has a feeling of just taking in with all purity and accepting unconditionally and loving unconditionally and also protecting oneself in the process. So ensure that as you go along that you are protecting yourself, that you are uh, respecting yourself and that you are able to uh, see others for the beauty that is in them as well as allow others to see you for the beauty that is in you. I feel also that as this year goes by or as the new year comes into being and as you experience the next 12 months or so that new friends, new people that you meet are going to be really valid as you go along in the future and may, you may actually make long lasting friendships or it might be the start of long lasting friendships. So people who are acquaintances, you might meet somebody who's helping you to be to renovate something in your home or to um, you know even knock a nail and that person might become a good friend of yours later on somebody who provides services in your life might also serve as a friend in your life as you go along and these friendships will take a bit of time to develop but they will actually be long-lasting friendships so look uh, the guard for that. That doesn't obviously apply to every single one of you, but for one or two of you, it, it will apply. So um, if you find that you're drawn to somebody who's offering a service to you, be uh, be open to that friendship. Uh, once again, I want to apologize for the crickets in the background, and I hope that hasn't disturbed you. I want to wish all of you a fabulous beginning as you enter the new year and wish you all a very happy New Year's celebration for those of you who are celebrating and who are um, celebrating in the Gregorian calendar. Well, I uh, wish you all uh, many blessings and a fabulous, safe healthy new year so many many blessings from kismet rising and thank you for coming by to this reading i hope it has helped you wishing you all very well so for those of you who have chosen the option number two um let's take a close look at this thing that is what you've chosen um i apologize for the sound of the crickets outside i hope that you are not too perturbed by that and uh, I want to go just go along and feel what is the right card for you. So the question we're asking today is, what is it that we need to know right now? But what is it that it's important for our healing as we go along in the year uh, ahead and in the time ahead? So what is important as we go along in this week, but also in the in the year ahead of us? And this feels like the right card for you. And we have the card laughter. Okay. So according to this deck, uh, for those of you who have chosen the option number two, the answer that you'd be looking for is laughter. So as you go along in this week, it's important to be able to incorporate laughter into your life. And these are not necessarily shared jokes or shared laughter. It's something that where you are find where you find the comedy or the the situation that you're in funny or the things that come to you as funny and what this really speaks to is experiencing lightheartedness it talks about bringing lightheartedness into your life and a level of which it becomes a daily um approach to life so it's not just that you laugh when something is funny but that you find the situations that you're in funny you find life funny at every turn you are 
perhaps giggling to yourself as this uh, fairy is in this a picture and it's also talking about healing yourself through that um so the one of the questions that we asked is how do we heal ourselves as we go along in this coming year not just what is our weekly oracle but what is it that we need to know as far as our healing is concerned in this coming year and the card that's come up for you is laughter and i feel here the laughter that's inner inner laughter something that you sh- shared and a joke that you share with yourself something where you are finding the the lightheartedness the easiness in situations whatever that situation may be is what is going to get you through this year uh, or the year 2021 and I feel that this is an important aspect for you I feel like this is so much more important for you than it was for the for the first reading um like their message was also very important but for yours it's almost integral in terms of your health and your well-being and how it will impact you um and, and how you will face situations as you go along so how do you bring laughter into your life well there are many ways you know they are like laughing clinics that people have or laugh laugh laughing therapy where you actually um laugh uh with others um online or in groups or uh, also you know by yourself and uh, you just laugh for like 45 minutes or so but I feel like this is not this can be a way in which you you experience your laughter and there's nothing saying that you shouldn't do that but I feel like here uh, this is about you actually finding things amusing you are actually looking at situations and you're thinking oh well you know, that's really funny. Oh, well, that could have been done a different way, but it's really funny the way they've done it. And um, just looking at like having an approach that's much lighter and not so heavy. And also uh, not to say that you have an approach that's heavy, but that's the information that's coming through right now. It's also talking about um, just really enjoying life and finding life as funny as possible, because this is what's going to relieve a lot of stress and it's going to help heal you in the sense that it's going to almost remove toxins from on a cellular level so it's almost saying here that uh, that the laughter is going to it's going to clear you it's going to lighten your load it's going to help your vibration it's going to work through you and cleanse you so it's a really interesting message you know I'd, I've never uh, I very rarely get this card or pick up this card last and in fact I'm not sure if I've ever uh, picked it uh, for a client or for myself or you know in one of the weekly oracles uh, here on this channel but it just it feels like such a a strange message for me uh, to receive this and it feels it's definitely the first time I've received the message for this card that says that laughter is actually going to be really healing on a cellular level it's going to be washing away toxins washing away the poisons from your body you know let me just put across a, a disclaimer here this is um don't hold me to this okay in a court of law this is just a channeled message here uh, but it's it's saying that the lightness that you need in your life as you go along in this month in this year and in this week is actually going to come from you finding situations funny so endeavor to find situations funny endeavor to look at what is the funny side of things so if you are experiencing a lot of stress if you are finding that life can be working against you at times and it's it's you know you're not sure why that's happening laugh about it look at it as you know, as if you have bird's uh, eye perspective and look at the situation and, and see how funny it is in the in the bigger realm, in the bigger scheme of things. But ultimately, laughter is the way forward for you as you go along. And this isn't necessarily shared laughter, as I mentioned. It can be that um, this is something that just you find amusing for yourself and that, you know, that you need to laugh under your breath so that others are not annoyed or that others are not you know don't take offense or that you're not being insensitive to the the needs or the the feelings of other people um so as you go along in 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 this uh in this week as well as in this year i feel like that is going to be a saving grace for you and uh definitely look towards laughter if you're feeling like you need a bit of healing in your life if you're feeling like you need 
a break from life. Okay, so that is your Oracle card guidance for this week. I'd like to wish you all a wonderful new year. Uh, may 2021 be easy for you. Uh, may it be filled with laughter and may you stay safe, healthy and um, in good spirits as you go along. Many blessings for the new year and for the week ahead. Lots of love to you all. So for those of you who've chosen the third option that we have here today, I'm going to be feeling what is it that you need to hear in terms of your healing as you go along in this week, as well as in the upcoming year. And I'm also going to be feeling what is your oracle guidance? What is just your oracle, your general guidance for this week? And I'm just trying to go through these cards with my fingers and feel what comes up for you. So I feel it's actually this card here. So the card we have for those of you who've chosen the option number three is quiet time. And so that's the what you need to look forward to. And that's what you need to look for in terms of your healing as you go along in the year of 2021. And I want to say that that is also an important card for you or an important um, important for you in the week that you are in, the week that you've come to this reading for. And so where wherever you're feeling like you need something or you need some healing or you need some some something that soothes you, it's important for you to take time out alone and to be able to seek that quiet time. Um, so this is an important part of being able to rejuvenate yourself, to be able to replenish yourself, to be able to just recharge your batteries. And I think that, um, you know, as we, we've asked this question, what is your Oracle guidance for this week? But then also, what is it that you need to know as you go along in the week, um, in, in the year ahead in terms of your healing, what is an important aspect for your healing for this year ahead? And that is the card that's come up, you know, quiet time, taking time out, taking time out in nature, being able to give to yourself an opportunity to be by yourself, being able to treasure your own presence and really value what it means like to be alone now i want to just apologize for the sound of those crickets outside i'm shooting this at night and um the sun they are relentless and uh i haven't had another chance to shoot this so i have to do it right now uh but um yeah i think here to get back to your reading you know it's also important to be able to um be in touch with nature to recognize nature, to be observant of nature, to be able to observe the seasons and observe the changes in, in, in nature. And the only way you can do that is if you take away the daily stresses and the daily buzz from your life and just be able to be more quiet in yourself. It's this quietness is not just about having silence. You could be amongst many, many people and just being able to go inward and experience that silence and that quietness within you and to have that connection to the world as you go along. So you could be in a subway with 100 other people and still be able to feel inside of you the connection to the earth and go inside of you and experience that quietness that will replenish you. And I feel here that it's important to pay attention to that as you go along in the year. And you might find that you've been given a couple of opportunities to be able to practice that. What does it feel like? How is it that you go inward? How is it that you experience this? For some of you, it is actually just shutting off everything and sitting in quiet. But for others of you, it's about being able to go inward to be able to experience that. And then for others of you or, or for some, most of you, maybe it's about being more observant of nature and the seasons and how things change around you. What are the small changes? You know, maybe it's the, the hair of your colleague or maybe it's the desk of your boss or maybe it's something, you know, the gardens at your at your college or university or school. Or maybe it's simply that you experience and you feel that something's changing around you and you're able to, to identify those changes and you're able to, um, you know, kind of creep into that experience 
um, or silently invite yourself into that experience of understanding what the energy is around you. And so I feel like here, this is such a very basic message of just being able to take this time out for yourself, take, take, make sure that, you know, sometimes it's just a millisecond of being able to do that. And it's nothing more. It doesn't mean that you've got to like, you know, book yourself into a retreat and, and take t quiet time out and be quiet. And it's not a big, you don't have to make a big fuss over it. It's just a matter of being able to say, okay, well, I need to connect now to the world around me and to the earth actually. And I'm going to feel this. I'm going to feel my connection to the earth and I'm going to feel that silence in me, that place inside of me that is my connection to the rest of the world. And that's going to be so beneficial for you as you go along in this year. So I think it's I think it's an important message and it's something that you can return to now and again. You know, perhaps you want to uh, take a screenshot of this and and just, um, you know, print this out and and put it on your fridge or put it somewhere where you can see it, because perhaps it's going to be something that you will need to be reminded of as you go along. And I feel like as you go along to the latter part of the year, like October, November, this is going to come in handy to you for you. So maybe put a, an alarm on your phone and just remind yourself quiet time is the solution to your well-being, to your healing, and to your um, to just being able to to get through. It's like a bridge that gets you through to the other side. So um, I hope that message has been helpful. I'm sure it will be. If you, and I'm sure you'll find that it's going to be that that's going to be um, more important for you this year uh, as we go along in the in the year, uh, the upcoming year, as other as of the, as it's normally been and i just want to wish you all a safe um passage into 2021 and may you be healthy and be safe and um yes many blessings to you all thank you all for coming to this channel and for for coming to these readings i hope they're helpful i hope they are useful for you and I wish you all a fabulous 2021, many, many blessings and many healing vibes to you all. Much love to you all and have a, a, a splendid 2021. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.